first time I walked into the Institute, I was transported into what my fantasy of an acting school would be like. More comfortable in who I am as a person. It was like a breath of fresh air. It becomes a home. When you close your eyes and think of what an acting school is supposed to sound like and smell like and feel like, it was exactly it. It's about self-discovery. Know what you're there for. Remember who you are and your purpose. Only you control how much you're going to get out of this. Nobody else. The most important thing is passion. You know, know what you want, know what you want to do, know what you want to express, what kind of artist you want to be, and how you want to challenge yourself. Acting is, is a personal journey, and the method is, is a perfect match for that kind of journey into self-discovery. It became about honesty, about honesty within myself. When you set that marker for actors and people, and you trust that they will do it, they give you everything they have. We're not machines. How can we feel real every single time? His technique is for that. If you work from what you know, you can't imagine something that you don't know. We're training you to be artists, actors who are self-reliant, self-capable. More alive, more in the moment, but that's what practice helps you do. And if you don't do that, it's impossible to, to be that free. But if you stick with it, you really start discovering these sensations and these feelings and this behavior that you can then hopefully fit to a story, to a character. And you start delving into deeper and deeper material and deeper, deeper parts of yourself as well. It started with an idea about theater. The year 1923 was monumental in Lee's artistic life. It was the year the Moscow Art Theater came to America. And this fired Strasberg's imagination because he had thought, well, maybe I'll be an actor, I enjoy this. But all of a sudden he saw that theater could be the kind of art form that you would consider a symphony or a novel or a great painting. It's not just show business. And nobody had ever really seen people behaving so normally. He had been involved in the theater in some ways here and there. It was after that that he became fully committed to creating what he eventually called the method, which was an American version of it. But what startles Strasberg is the small actors are equally good as the lead actors. And this is unknown in the American theater at this time. The leads are good, but the small actors. And so they must do something differently than everyone else. And he wanted to create a permanent theater, a permanent American theater, doing American plays with American actors, and using the Stanislavski method. The group theater was founded by Lee Strasberg and Harold Clerman and Cheryl Crawford in 1931. It's the one genuine American theater. The group theater was revolutionary because it dealt with topics and a realism on stage that had not been seen before in America. He absolutely chained acting in the United States into making it real. Yes, it's a skill. It's not just something up in the air, it's a skill, it's a certain kind of talent. An actor should be real and not just pretend to be real, but should feel real. That through it, we are able to enter and to achieve certain areas of actors' work, which without it cannot be achieved. That really group, he functions as a director on Broadway. And he's really one of the earliest directors as an artist. Today, that's common in theater. But back then, you know, directors were the people that staged the play. He teaches, but not like the Institute or even his classes starting in the 50s. It's a class here, a class there. Then what do we really have to learn? What do we have to shoot for? What are we here for? Lee's focus is on directing and creating a theater. Just creating a theater is the passion of his life. That people do not really comprehend how difficult the acting problem is, because when it's well done, it seems easy. It's not only a difficult thing, it's a very pressure-filled thing. 
So he came to the actor's studio as artistic director. And until his death in 82, functioned as the artistic director of the actor's studio. And it became a haven for working actors to come in the privacy of their own space and just work on their craft. He had an innate ability to recognize talent in a person. And he knew how to nurture people's talent. He knew how to bring out the best in people, how to unlock their expressiveness. But he was ahead of where any actor would be. It was always where you'll be next. He was amazing. And Lee wanted to be sure that this lived on beyond him. My experience can serve not as an example, it's not an example, but as an instance, as an illustration of the fact that life doesn't end if you don't. Lee Strasberg founded the Institute, Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute in 1969 as a way to help actors who were looking for and in need of training. He wanted to take his private teaching and not just turn it into a school, but to an institute because he saw it as a place of study as almost a think tank where the entire legacy of this work would live on. I think it's safe to say that the actors that Lee trained, they actually changed American theater and changed American film. And the proof of that is not in what I say, but in what the people who have come in contact with the work have done. Let me have your attention for a moment. Because you're talking about what? You're talking about... Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. I don't like cops. enlightened in sort of a way. You know, it's a new perspective. Bring yourself, bring your life experience, bring you to the room, and I will work with you. They encourage you to take risk and step outside of your comfort zone. Some people are content with being comfortable, but that's not life, you know? Life isn't comfortable. And just like any training, this training takes hard work, perseverance, and endurance. I think the first thing Maybe the only thing is to learn how to work, to practice what you're taught, to practice it all the time. You will have a system that you can always rely on. What you can bring to it, how you can make your, your story more, more personal, more real, more poignant. I mean, as you take these first steps to become the actor you want to be, you have to learn how to listen. Take advantage of every single minute you have in that classroom. Come in prepared, learn your lines, and live fully. The core of your training is the method acting classes. 
You'll find your own track within the method, the exercises that you connect with. The best any actor can be is what the method is all about. So what is method acting? Essentially, they deal with the training of the senses. Essentially, they deal with the training of the emotions. Essentially, they deal with the training of the imagination. And we emphasize, therefore, these exercises as the basic foundation for the actor's growth and development, preparing you for all the problems that the actor faces in any of the acting mediums. The thing about the training at Strasbourg is that it's impossible to disassociate with who you really are. Honesty was more important than almost anything. Truthful feelings, truthful behavior to create life on the stage. What is called re-experiencing on stage. Because the actor doesn't just experience, the fundamental reality of acting is re-experiencing. You adapt something that makes you then feel and touch and see and smell and remember uh, things that your grandmother taught you. Because that's what shapes you. That's, that's the thing that gives you the foundation. It's as simple as having these tools to strengthen your concentration and the imagination. If you use Lee's technique, you're going to, you're going to feel secure and give the performance you planned. The method is a means to figure out who you really are. Taking advantage of what you were born with, behavior, feelings, and senses, and just reaping all the rewards of that. And then you use that as a, as a real feeling, as, a, as behavior for, for your character. But it's hooked in something real. It's the re-experiencing of life by the actor on stage. In the first place, I would like to make clear that our school is not simply a school. The work, therefore, that we represent is not just individual work, that it continues something that the professional theater people have always looked for, which is a method for the ability to create those kind of results on the stage that every actor desires to create, but that only the great actor creates sometimes and often does not know how to do at will training is not a substitute for talent. Experience is not a substitute for training. Training gives you only the capacity to use whatever talent you have. No one can give you talent, but you can have talent, and talent can only be brought out and can only be trained and can only be developed it's at your progress, at your capacity, at your growth, which have to be practiced that's what exercises are. Not, un, not just understood, it doesn't matter whether you understand them, it matters whether you practice them. We don't care what experience you have. We don't care what talent you have. We do the same work with everybody. The progress that you make is your own. The most important thing is passion because that is the thing that makes the training possible. It's what makes you advance. It's what makes you learn. It's what makes you put up with an extraordinarily difficult lifestyle. So the only thing that sustains you and drives you is that you love this with every fiber in your being. You have a safe place to find your acting problems, to, to challenge yourself, to stretch in, in, in directions and in parts that you wouldn't normally get a chance to play. The way to work, how to work, how to create a character, 
It's incredibly humanistic. It's incredibly caring environment. It's a supportive environment. We don't push people until they're ready to go to that next level. A place to feel challenged too and inspired by other, by other actors. And each person is starting from right from where they are. It's being afraid and then deciding to go ahead and do it anyway. You are embarking on a journey that is challenging and will be exciting and will be rigorous and you will get as much out of it as you put into it. There is in us a soul and great actors reveal a little piece of that soul with every portrayal they do. It's very painful sometimes and it's very difficult. Yeah, you can take risks, you can fall flat on your face, you can mess up and um, you still won't fail. Messing up is not failing. Not trying is failing. So try. You want to be good, you have to work at something really hard. And this is very hard work, it's not easy. It's not easy to become a really good actor. It doesn't happen very easily. So I hope you all work hard. Remember one thing. You are the here and the now. Our work is very special in nature. Special in the sense that we feel that there is a basic craft, a basic technique, which the actor must acquire. This is a place to invite talent in. Welcome to the Lee Strasberg Theatre and Film Institute.